Now this is a dish I completely made up. I call it Mardi Gras Udon Stir Fry. And I'm telling y'all, it's pressure. Let's get into it. But first, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and turn on those push notifications for more content just like this. So boom, first we wanna go ahead and get some fresh shrimp and we're gonna let that marinate in soy sauce and Cajun seasoning. Remember, if you ain't sneezing, it ain't seasoned. My favorite is to get some Gulf shrimp, but if you don't have access to that or if you have a seafood allergy, you could always use chicken or just omit the protein altogether. We're gonna let that marinate for about 15 to 30 minutes while we get everything else together. Now this is where you come in with your sausage. This goes a lot in jambalayas and stuff like that. So this is where it gets that Cajun twist. I like to use andouille or smoked sausage. Again, if you don't like sausage, you don't have to add it. Make this recipe to your preference. I like to cut mine in the rounds and I'm gonna go ahead and put that to the side. Now we wanna go ahead and make the sauce that'll put all this together. First, we're gonna use soy sauce. Low sodium is best for me. Then we have oyster sauce, fish sauce, and then mirin. This will counteract that umami flavor you get from soy sauce and give it a little bit of sweetness. And on top of that, we'll add some light brown sugar and an optional pepper flakes if you want to kick it up a notch. I need all that. And as with all my recipes, I'm just guiding you on how I do it. You can always doctor it up to your preference. You could add ginger, you could add sesame oil, whatever you like, go ahead and throw that in there. Mix it up and put it to the side for later. Now use whatever brand of udon noodles you like. I got these from Walmart, so it's more accessible to everybody. And as far as the vegetables, I came with a tri-colored coleslaw. This includes red cabbage, green cabbage, and carrots. And I also added some onion. And of course, when it comes to the aromatics, we need buku garlic. And I got this liquid ginger from Winn-Dixie, but you could also use ginger paste or fresh ginger. And of course, some fresh green onion at the end to make everything healthy. Now, if you have access to a wok, it's perfect for this recipe. But if you just want to use a skillet and you don't have a wok, do that. Now, we want to get the wok or skillet piping hot and we're going to start browning our sausage. You don't need to add any olive oil or anything to start this process because it's going to run it down so much fat. And this is going to be the base of the flavor for everything we put into this dish. Once it gets a nice sear, we'll use a slotted spoon and remove it from the pan. Keep all those drippings still in there. Once we remove the sausage, we'll add our marinated shrimp to that same pan with those drippings. With this recipe, I used a half a pound of shrimp to a half a pound of sausage. So use a pound of whatever protein you desire. And shrimp don't take no time to cook. So we're going to let that cook for about a couple minutes and then we'll remove that from the pan as well. Add it to a bowl with your sausage. Then we're going to go ahead and cover that up for later. Now we want to get started on our vegetables and aromatics. Now add in one to two teaspoons of sesame oil. When it comes to sesame oil, a little goes a long way. It's a very potent flavor. Now, if you know me, you know I like to find little gadgets. This one was a garlic press, and I wasn't really impressed with it. It was not efficient at all. I'd rather just chop it up and mince it. But go ahead and add your minced garlic to your wok along with your onions and some of that liquid ginger. Again, if you don't have liquid ginger, use fresh ginger or ginger paste. We're going to stir fry that for just about a minute until it's nice and fragrant. This will start the cooking process, and then we'll go ahead and add in the rest of our vegetables. Just like with the sauce, you could do all this to your preference. I used a coleslaw that was already made, but you could always chop up your carrots, cabbage, add some mushrooms, do whatever you like to your liking. Now we're going to stir fry this for a couple of more minutes. We don't want it to be mushy. We want it to have a nice bite, but still be tender at the same time. And when it comes to udon noodles, they're usually packaged tight together. So you want to add it to some warm water just to separate the noodles a little bit without breaking them up too much. Then go ahead and add it to your wok. Throw in your shrimp and your sausage along with all the drippings and then we're going to come with as much of that sauce as the Lord allows. And you really don't have to add any more spices or seasonings to this because the sauce has plenty of flavor. But again, adjust as you go. You want to stir fry this until everything is well combined. You can cut the heat at this point and then add in some fresh green onion. Fresh green onion always makes the dish 10 times better after it's finished. Go ahead and give it a good mix in to make sure everything is combined again and then go ahead and look at that. <laughs> yes, Lord. And now to keep with our Mardi Gras theme, we're going to add some toppings to take this to the next level. I got some pork crackling from the gas station. I put it in a food processor and I grinded it down until it was nice little tiny pieces that could be a garnish on top of our noodles. This adds a great salty flavor along with a whole different texture to go along with the whole entire dish. I just felt like the color of cabbage along with the green, green onion and the crackling just screamed Mardi Gras to me. I don't know. I just called it that because I made this dish up as I went along. But anyway, go ahead and plate everything up. You can add that crackling if you desire to go that route. You could also put some toasted sesame seeds on top. And I like to come with some more green onion just for some added freshness at the end. And of course, you got to add the spicy mayo on top. And just like my name, you're all done. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, subscribe, and turn on those push notifications for more recipes.